due to Llewellyn being out for the year with the torn ACL that he suffered in London against Kentucky. Nice backdoor cut, but that's blocked away. And here comes Central Michigan. I think this is a game where you can really establish your defense. Central Michigan playing without Kevin Miller. We see Jet Howard getting out for the break, but this is a day game where you can pressure, extend the defense, coming off of screens and being ready to shoot outside of Howard. Michigan on top, 5 nothing in the lane. Kobe Bufkin with the layup off the glass and in. Well, Taylor with the jumper as Michigan on top by five. That's poked away by Max Marley. Max Marley in the fast break, and he will put it up and in. One dribble left behind the back, back to your right hand, and a quick pull-up three. Seeing the town on full display. And Reggie Bass goes in the lane. Beautiful finger roll layup. Shades of your days with Northwestern. Even if you get beat off the dribble, closing out, and playing hard on the defensive end. The one thing about Michigan as underneath, Hunter Dickinson with the flush. Beautiful job, but now he goes down after he got knocked around in London against Kentucky, but he has seven points tonight, three of three from the field. I think that's a very positive note for Jawan Howard and company. For sure, it takes any guard time to adjust. Aji Baye goes ahead and saves it as he sees Arzuela with the layup. It's up and good. Counted and the foul. Oh my goodness. Eight seconds to go on the shot clock. Reggie Bass. He's being guarded by Baker, the step back three, and he knocks it down. The lead is two now for Central Michigan taking their first lead of the contest. A long alley-oop, and Howard got caught, stolen away by Jed Howard. Howard coming across the timeline. The long three, no thinking about the two is Buffkin, and he knocks it down, and the foul counted. He has seven rebounds here in the matchup. It is just a two-point lead for Michigan. Kobe Buffkin in the lane, the floater, and he knocks it down. It crammed off the front iron, and now back we go, Harding. But Dickinson got back as you take a look at Brian Taylor. Turns around, the jumper is good. Keeping up on the glass, doing a good job of crashing there and creating a third chance opportunity. Sarzuela with the tray and he knocks it down. The lead is one. Well, Kobe Bumpkin on the bench with three fouls. That is a cause of concern because offensively, he was getting his engine going. Underneath now, and the layup, it's up, it's good. Oh, I feel like they're playing hard. Michigan has definitely stepped up their intensity as well. Sarzuela off the glass and in, driving in the lane. Going where the ball is going to bounce. It's a special gift to have as a player. McCaskill with four points. He has five rebounds so far. The long three by Kobe Buffkin, and he knocks it down to even up the game at 42 apiece. Michigan on top by two, 44 to 42. Reggie Bass will let it go from the right side, and he knocks it down. Reggie Bass. Last four or five minutes really matched Central Michigan's hard work and intensity on both ends of the floor. Marley with the steal in the front court to Reggie Bass, and blocked away though by Tess Cheddar. And so the leading score, Reggie Bass. Bass in the lane, Zarzuela now. Left corner, the layup, it's up and in. Oh my goodness, Hunter Dickinson fell asleep there. Underneath to you go ahead and oh my goodness that's stolen away. Here comes Jed Howard. Back to Buck and the lamp it's up. It's good. Counted and the foul. Oh my goodness. What a play there. Jace Howard, the older brother of Jed Howard. Both of them sons of Michigan head coach Chawan Howard. A long three thinking about it was Zarzuela. He steps in the lane and he knocks it down. For Central Michigan if they come into Ann Arbor and shock the Wolverines. Central Michigan is going to play through Zarzuela. Zarzuela with the floater, and he knocks it down. Zarzuela with 19 points. For Central Michigan, the three at the top circle. No good rebound coming down to none other than the point guard, Doug McDaniel. Back to Buck in the left. It's up, it's good. Tony and the foul, and Michigan can't tie it up at 58 apiece. 14 seconds to go on the shot clock. Reggie Bass being guarded by McDaniel. Reggie Bass goes up with the three, and he knocks it down! Oh my goodness! Reggie Bass from long distance, putting the tip ones ahead! Doug McDaniel, nine seconds to go, as Bumpkin from the left corner of the three, no good rebound, tip around Hunter Dickinson, he goes up with it, no 